What's going on YouTube? Sam I'm back with another figure review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane A Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger. This is Movie Maniacs. Um, this is the 18 inch sensor activated sound Freddy Krueger. When I first got this and I did my um, uh, Frank and Sons video, I said this was made by NECA. This is actually McFarlane. But um, I, used to ha I, I had, used to have this 7 inch version of this. You can look at this in my old school reviews. But um, I'm really happy to get this either way. I'm a, you know, I'm a big fo uh, horror fan. So really happy to pick this up. I'm going to pick the... Um, Get the tripod up here. I'm going to scroll this up a little bit so you guys can see the whole package. You can see, see the bottom had Freddy, and then you can read right there it's voice activated. It's a fairly large box. Um, you turn this to the side, it shows you all the other movie maniacs. You got Freddy right here at the bottom. I'll show you guys here. At the top, it says Freddy Krueger. The bottom is Michael Myers. And then, right, we keep on rolling down a little bit. There is Freddy right there. And the other side, you know, it's the same, it's pretty much the same, same design. Um, the back of it though is really cool because you got all the uh, all the other figures from the from the series. You know that you know movie maniacs used to be a really big line that McFarlane used to do, and then I guess NECA pretty much took over. But I'm gonna scroll this down a little bit so you can see some of the some of the figures that NECA or that McFarlane did make back in the day. If you guys aren't familiar with some of McFarlane's work, I mean, obvious you know the Spawn is a, is a big one that McFarlane did. You can see Spawn.com, and then right up top. You got all the uh, the horror ones right here, so you can see there's Michael Myers on the left. It's got kind of a glare there, but sorry about that. And there's Freddy. Um, the Michael Myers one, you can see right there, I think that's an 18 inch one. And then we got, uh, over here we got Edward Scissorhands, Ash, Snake Plissken, um, Shaft, King Kong, and some of the, uh, the fly over here, and then some from um, the thing. But I did do reviews on a lot of these. So if you check out my older videos, you will definitely be able to find these reviews here. But I'm going to turn the box around and what we're going to do really quick here is I'm going to get this bad boy outside a package and we're going to take a closer look at the 18 inch Freddy Krueger by McFarlane. So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so here we have Freddy outside of the package and I'm going to tell you this right now, this is an awesome figure you guys. Um, let's see how I'm going to review this. I'm actually reviewing in a different spot than I normally review. So I try to just, just to give it a little bit more space and a little, and hopefully the lighting is better in here. But looking at Freddy, I mean, this is a gigantic figure. Again, it is a 19, is it 19 inches or 18 inches? I forgot. It's 18 inches and it's voice activated. So the thing about this is that I had to replace the batteries, the batteries that were originally in this, cause this is a fairly old figure. Um, they weren't. Good, they weren't good anymore. When I opened up the uh, the back, because you put the batteries right here in the back of the figure, you can see there's the screw and there's a button and there's the little speaker part. Um, the batteries were pretty like rusted, man, and I was afraid this thing wasn't going to work anymore. But it does come with a little instruction thing on how to um, change the batteries and all that. So it's really good that they give you one of these. Uh, just again, I was just worried that this wasn't going to work. And there's Spawn.com. I don't even know if that even exists anymore. But um, yeah, the figure is really nice. So I'm gonna pick up the camera here. Uh, he doesn't come with any accessories. The only thing you really get is the removable hat or his fedora, you know, whatever you want to call it. That is the name of this hat though. So you get this right here and it's really, it's really good um, the way they sculpted it. It's a soft uh, rubbery material and um, yeah, you can see all the weathering on it. Looks pretty good. Fairly nice. And then there's the, whoa, <laughs> there's the um, inside part of the hat right there. So it's pretty nice. And it, again, it is like a, well, it's not really a soft material, but it's some, some of the parts on it are soft. Let me get the camera to zoom out here. So there's um, the signature hat that you get with the figure. Now looking at Freddy himself. So let's see where we can start from exactly. I guess we'll get a close up on the head sculpt on Freddy. So getting a close look at Freddy's head sculpt, you can see all the crazy detailing that McFarlane put into this. I mean, you can see the flesh, the skin, you know, tearing up, ripping open. I mean, because he was obviously burned. And you can just look at this. I mean, come on, guys. You can't tell me this does not look great. And just, I mean, I'm going to see how close I can zoom in. I mean, you can see the ear and everything there. Just really, really good um, detailing on the head sculpt. And then we get a close look at the at the face right here. The eyes look great. The um, teeth are yellow right there. And you can see, again, the eyes. And then you got his... Uh, you know, everything's like pretty much burnt and deformed. And uh, you can see it goes down to the neck area as well. Let me zoom out here really quick and you can see all that right there in the, in the neck. But also the cool thing about this figure is the glove. Look at the glove. This is a, a very bloody version of Freddy Krueger. 
So you can see right here, the, the glove is full of blood. You can see the blades even have some blood in them. Um, I don't know. Well, I think if you were to mess with these, it'd probably break off pretty easy. But the glove itself, I mean, look at the great detailing in the glove. It's got a lot of great details in the glove. See that right there. And this is pretty much a, if you guys are familiar with uh, McFarlane's figures, a lot of his figures were pretty much like statue figures. They were pre-posed figures. They didn't have a whole lot of articulation. So you just got to be careful with um, the way you you know, play with the, the figures if you guys do mess around with their articulation on him. The jacket itself looks pretty good. It's the signature, you know, red and green um, sweater that he's wearing. It's got a little bit of like a texture look to it and he's got blood splattered all over the sweater. And the bottom right there is like a little bit ripped. The sleeves over here are sculpted, all the wrinkles and everything. Even the uh, the hand right here. I mean, not only is it, you know, deformed and burn not deformed but burn and you can even make out the nails are yellow but he's got a lot of blood right there in the hand and I love the way the red looks on on the um the blood it looks really really good he's even got some splattered right there on the lower part of the pants and then the back we'll take a look again at the back of the uh of the sweater here so you can see that's where you put the batteries and everything so he's pretty much stuck in this pose that you have him which is no big deal to me I really like the way this Freddy looks and then we go um, down a little bit more and you can see the pants they're all it's all sculpted and then you can see it's got a little bit of like different little coloring to it blood there a little bit of detailing in the pants and then there's the back of the pants right here and then you got some uh, more blood splattered at the bottom of the pants some more on on both sides right here and here and even on the uh, the boots he's got a lot of a uh, blood splatter right there on the boots so that looks pretty cool very nice I'll see if I can uh, zoom in a bit right there so you guys can get a good look at the uh, at the boots there and then there's a front look at the boots so that's pretty much it as far as he goes I mean if you're gonna go over if you guys want to do go over the um, articulation on Freddy He's pretty limited, so the head, I don't really want to mess with it a whole lot, but he can rotate at the waist, you can see right here. The arms themselves, it's just pretty much a swivel. He has rotation at the, uh, at the wrist right there. And he's got uh, another swivel right here at the, at the elbow area. Nothing on this one. And the lower legs, are pre it's pretty much a statue, there's nothing there, and the feet have a little bit a rotation to it but that's about it this hand right here pretty sure has yeah it has rotation at the wrist but I don't want to mess with that too much because it's gonna break now getting into the sound effects that he does have uh, it took me a while it took me a few different tries to push the on and off button because um, it came out kind of like really uh, what's the word it came out very distorted but I got it to work so what we're gonna do is turn this on and push the button in the back and you guys will get it sound effect here So I'll show you again if you move them. No running in the hallway. <clears throat> so it sounds pretty good, and, it's, and it is Robert England's voice. Um, it's up to you if you really want to display him with the hat. I think he looks good both ways if you want to display him with or without the hat. It's a, either way, he's going to look great. But this is a fantastic fig, you guys. Um, I definitely want to pick up the, uh, the NECA version. Of, of this uh, the 18 inch uh, Freddy so let me know what you guys think about this figure don't forget to drop a comment down below make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button also make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook thanks for letting me uh... show you guys this figure thanks for watching guys we'll see you guys later take care adios